YouTube, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to install an internal hard drive, a SATA drive, into your PC. I recently just bought this on Best Buy, it's $47.99. When I went into the store, it was actually $39.99. So go ahead and check it out. It's a great drive, a lot of space for a very good price. I recommend doing this when you're actually building the PC, not after. I realized a little too late that I needed some more space. It's easier, there's less weight to move around, more flexibility with uh, wiring and whatnot. But the first thing you wanna do is remove the back panel. You're gonna see the hard drive tray at the bottom left. You're gonna grab the cords that you need. So this is the power cable for the SATA drive. This comes with the power supply. Next, get out your hard drive. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like right here. And the two slots on the bottom left are what we're going to be working with today. So the next thing you want to do is unscrew the hard drive tray from the bottom left. These four screws are what you're going to want to unscrew and the hard drive tray comes out. Next, you're going to put the hard drive inside the tray, either top or bottom slot, it doesn't matter, but there's multiple spaces for multiple hard drives. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to get the baggie with the screws that come with the hard drive and screw in your hard drive so it's secure. You don't want it to be moving around, especially if you have to transfer your PC, but you're going to screw it in like this, then you're going to put it back inside the case. And by the way, this is the NZXT H510 case. So I'm showing you guys how to do it on this specific case. I'll put that in the title, but you put your hard drive back in, then you're gonna take the screws that you just had to screw the case, to screw the hard drive tray back into the case. Just wanna make sure that the extension piece on the tray is lined up with the slot at the bottom of the case. And there you go, it's all screwed in. You're going to take the SATA power cable, plug it into the power supply, and then take the end of it and plug it onto the left side. And it's real simple, just plug and play, guys. Plug it in, then you get the second SATA drive, the SATA cable. These cables come with the motherboard. Now, the motherboard that I have came with two sets of SATA cables. One has like a curved end, like a L shape, like this one that I have and I realized that I needed the one that had two flat ends so there's two flat ends like this and then there's one that has a flat end and then an L end so whichever one is more comfortable for you guys use your preferred choice this plugs into the motherboard in the bottom right you're gonna go back to the back of the case and plug it in and boom, we're ready to go. We're, we are ready to go to the PC side. Make sure that the cables are tucked in and replace the back panel. Plug in all your cables again, flip on the power, turn on the PC, and boom, we're ready to flip to the Windows side. So once we're in the Windows screen, you're gonna go over here to this PC and you're gonna notice that we have our 500 gig SSD that pops up but not our hard drive. So what you wanna do is right click on the Windows logo and go to Disk Management. You're gonna leave this the way it is, hit OK, and we're gonna see our two hard drives here, but we need to make a partition for our one terabyte hard drive. So you see our 500 gig right here, SSD, right click right here, make new simple volume, hit next, leave this the way it is, hit next, and choose a letter. I'm choosing G because it's for games. Hit next. And then we're gonna create a name for it. I'm just gonna keep it simple and call it a one terabyte hard drive. And then hit next. And then finish. And that's it. Now our hard drive is ready to be used. When we go back to this PC, our one terabyte hard drive shows up and there is space to install games. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in just a second. So when we go over to Steam, I'm going to go ahead and put Among Us on our new hard drive. Go ahead and click install. It's going to default to our SSD, but we're going to switch and change it to our G drive that's now showing up. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new folder for Steam games. 
and that's basically it guys it's real simple if this video helped you go ahead and leave a like leave a comment and i'll put the links for these products in the description